Hey friend, John McLennan here, and today I want to share with you how I play Folsom Prison Blues as recorded by Johnny Cash on guitar. This is a great example of a country style blues progression, and it has a really unique sort of picking style to it that I want to break down for you today. Now it's in the key of E, we're going to be playing it in the key of E on guitar, but that's going to be with a capo on the first fret, so technically it's in the key of F, but I'll be calling out these shapes just as like E, A, and B7. So let's get straight into it. Those are the three chords, by the way, that you need to know. So it starts on the B7, and we're going to play this little riff that goes one, two, three. And that's our intro there. So we're starting on, you know, it's coming off this B7. You don't have to play the entire chord, but we're just gonna play the second fret on the A string. There, we're gonna go three times. So two, two, two. And then we'll play one on the fourth string twice. And then we'll go back to two on the fifth string and then back to one. So it's one on the fourth string. So it's Then reach down to the second fret here on the low six string. Give just a slight bluesy bend there, and then we're gonna go to open. So, all together one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, now here I set up the E chord, okay? So that's gonna be all six strings, open, two, two, one, open, open. And this is where we begin the picking pattern that I was mentioning here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna rest your strum hand down here, back by the bridge, and we're gonna, instead of having the notes ring like this, we're gonna actually mute them. Okay, so it's gonna get a palm mute there. And then we're gonna play this pattern. It's gonna go six, four, five, four. Okay, this pattern is golden and it's so important to know. So you're gonna go six, four, five, four. We have that alternating sound there. And it's all on an E chord, but I'm getting that little plucking bass line. And this is key to that Luther Perkins style, that Luther Perkins sound. So that's that classic intro, and I'm gonna break down the rest of this song for you step by step. But real quick, if you're new to the channel, I wanna share with you this guide that I put together that's gonna show you the five easiest and fastest ways to start playing the blues scale anywhere on the neck. And this is so important if you wanna jam with other musicians or you want to learn to improvise or just learn songs faster. You can get this completely for free right now while it's still available. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash blues scales and you can grab that as my gift to you. So the whole intro all together sounds like this. Then right there, Johnny Cash comes in with the vocal. I hear the train of coming. And this is where we start actually the 12 bar blues progression. So if you're not familiar with the 12 bar blues, this is a great song that is gonna give you an example of that. It's a specific progression that we follow and it's all based around three chords. The first chord here is E. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play four bars of E. And well, what's one bar you may be saying, John? Well, one bar is one and two and three and four and. So basically six, four, five, four, six, four, five, four. That pattern twice there is one bar. Okay, so it's gonna go one and two and three and four and two, three, four, Okay, so you want to count that out. You want to count one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four. Three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and. 
Okay, so that's four bars I was counting eighth notes, one and two and, which is what we're playing in that picking part. After that, you go to the A chord, okay? And that's gonna be from the fifth string down. And there's a few ways you could do it. You might play an A like this, where you fret each string. So that would be from the fifth string down. Open, two, 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 open. Or you could use one finger. Sometimes I do that, just kind of bar it. Now you don't need to play all the strings. We're actually just gonna play a little bass line, just like with this, you know, we don't need to play all the strings of the E, but I recommend just planting down the chord, and that way you're you're thinking about these little picking patterns and these riffs being associated with the chord, and that's gonna help you. So here we're gonna go to the A, we're gonna switch up the pattern. It's gonna go five, four, six, four. Okay, so notice that we're starting on the A string now, where before we started on the E string. And with a bass line part like this, or just a alternating pattern, you'll typically start with the root note, which is the note that names the chord, on the downbeat. Okay, so, so here A is the root note for the A chord. So here we're gonna go five, four, six, four, five, four, six, four, five, for two bars. And then we go back to E for two bars. Okay, so that's the first eight bars. Let me play that for you slowly. And we're gonna do, just to recap, four bars of E, two bars of A, two bars of E. A one and two and three and four and. Two, three, four. Go to A. And E. Okay, now coming to the last four bars, I actually like to do this little This little move here on the end of the E, I'll go two, one, two on the fifth string. And you hear it on the recording. This is leading us in to the final chord we need to know, which is B7. It's just like our intro. From the fifth string down, two, one, two, open, two. Here we're gonna play gonna go five, four, and when we go to six there, we're gonna bring up the middle finger and play the second fret of the sixth string. So it's gonna go, if I say the frets, two, one, two, one, or the strings, five, four, six, four, that's the pattern. Now I just tend to kind of put more of the chord down. Again, I recommend planting part of, at least part of the chord down, like, you know, what I'm doing here just in case you strum those other strings. You know, when you're starting with this picking pattern, it's, it's easy to hit a little extra string, you know, that you didn't mean to or whatever. And this way, if you're planting down the chord, you're, you're not gonna get like, you know, open strings or something that doesn't fit the chord. And so that's sort of like a guarantee to what you're playing, you know, as you work on training the picking hand. So here we're gonna go. And then I like doing this. And I do this little lick, and this isn't on the recording, the recording just goes. Stays there, and then back to E. T two bars of B to two bars of E. But I like doing this riff, you know, with the vocal melody that Johnny Cash sings, I hang my head and cry. Right, so that's two, 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 zero. Then second fret, that little bend back to E. I hang my head and cry. So the last four bars go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
And here's a bonus tip. I actually back up that pick and get back by the bridge. And that gives you a country little twang to the riff there. So let's try it all together. We're gonna play all 12 bars. One and two and ready and go and E. Third bar. Go to A. Back to E. Little move here. B7. Riff. Then right there, you go back to the top and repeat everything again over and over for the entire song. Until the last time, then we have the ending. And what we do the last time is we're on that B7, we play this riff, I hang my head, and we go to E. And then right here, we actually tie back in. that little riff that we played at the top of the song. So it comes in off the E. And then we go. We do this little strumming pattern. And this is how we end the tune. It's just, you hit the low E, you go down, up, up, down, down, and then down. So bass down, up, up, down, down down one e and a two e and a three e and a four so it actually ends on beat four like this one and two and three and four and one so have fun jamming Folsom Prison Blues. Remember to start slow and as I was mentioning you know the picking is difficult to have the accuracy to hit all those strings. So it's not gonna be perfect at first, just take your time with it, and as you keep practicing, your accuracy is gonna improve. But try to copy those exact patterns, you know, the six, four, five, four, and then as you go through the chords, you see it adjusts a little bit. But this is gonna be a lot of fun to jam along with the recording, and you'll be ready to play this song with other musicians. Now to learn this anywhere on the neck and really start jamming, the blues, be sure to grab my free blue scale PDF guide. It's still available right now. It's going to show you the five easiest and fastest ways to play the blues scale anywhere on the neck. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales and you can grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And for more blues guitar, check out this video next.